Hey, hey, peeps. This is my Erica Jane inspired look from her latest video, Expensive. Um, this is the makeup she's wearing when she's in the bath. Well, my interpretation of the makeup while she's in the bath. Ignore Mika in the background playing computer games. Um, he's all good. So let's get into it. Obviously, I start with my usual painterly paint pot, which is nearly finished. I have to get down to the uh, Mac store and get some more. So you've seen me do this a million times. Now I'm going into the Sourcebox Etude palette and I'm taking the lightest shade, which is a slight off-white colour. And I'm going to set that painterly paint pot with that um, shadow which you've also seen me do a million times. This is the Kelly Osborne, no, yeah, the Kelly Osborne palette from MAC that was out a couple of years ago. I'm going in with the shade Tickety Boo, which is really, really cool. Um, it's a really pretty contour shade, and it goes really nicely in the crease. Very, very cool toned, but um, that's what we're looking for with this sort of crease colour. So we're just running that backwards and forwards, trying to keep the outside... Um, up and then we're going in with that pinky shade which is called Fizzy Rose and it's a very very light um, kind of like a purpley pink and we're just running that over the top of the tickety boo just to start to introduce the pink into the look we're very slowly introducing the pink into the look um, and as you can see it is a real purpley pink this one so it's going to be great for transition into the eventual hot pink that we get later on down the track so we're doing the usual, keeping the corners up at the edge there. And then we're going into our Morphe palette, which is the Jaclyn Hill palette that also came out a couple of years ago. And we're going to mix two shades. We're going to go into that real hot pink and that sort of dusty rose colour. We're mixing those two shades to deepen up the crease and get some depth into that outside corner. Now you'll see me, I keep looking up just to see where the shadows are placed when I've got my eyes open, because obviously while I'm looking down into the mirror, I've got my high, whole eyelid open, but when I look up, that's when I see how far up that colour is going. So it's not just me looking into the camera, it is actually checking where those eye shadows are being placed. So I'm just running that across, I'm mainly focusing all this in that outside corner, but I am running it across the uh, top too, because we will eventually do a blown out cut crease. Um, so it's not the clean cut crease that you see, but it's a blown out one. Then we're going into the shade Shadowy Lady. <clears throat> and this one is just going into that tiny little corner on the very edge there for a lot of depth. It's not really adding any colour, it's just adding depth. So try not to do too much rubbing, it's more just placing. And I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear in NW20, I think it is. Yeah. And I'm going to what essentially would be a cut crease. So I'm going over the top of all of the shadows that I've placed on my eyelid and giving myself a clean base again. And I'm going to put a lighter shade on top of this. Uh, concealer. So this is what you would do if you want, you know, a really sharp cut crease, but eventually I will blow it out a bit because I don't want this particular look to be too sharp. So I'm just stretching out the eyelid to make sure I don't get any skipping when I'm doing that. I'm just using a BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going in with NYX Prismatic Shadow, I believe, in Girl Talk. And this is a really, really pretty light pinky shade nearly white it's it's so so light but it's so pretty I've actually seen a few people multitask this particular shadow and use it as a highlighter but um, in this instance we're going to do that over our light color now we're bringing in radioactive this is from our melt radioactive stack I think it's from um, and that is the radioactive shade so this is where the hot pink comes in now these are pressed pigments so you don't go in with too much you just build it up a little at a time and you'll see when I do the other side that when the pink mixes with that NYX Girl Talk, oh, the outcome is amazing. So you can see there's a real harsh edge there, but as I start to work that pink in, that harsh edge just disappears. See how that's blending in? I really, really like that. That's so cool. And I just keep going back with a little bit more, and I'll look up and check that they're both even. 
go on to each side and work, see, yep, even, okay. And then a little bit more, then across the top. It's a, this is a slower look, but it's very, very effective. So we're just gonna make sure that they're as even as humanly possible. And I'm going to highlight the brow bone. You'll see me do this three or four times. So you see, I'm doing it now to try and clean up a little bit of the pink. So, you know, calm it back down again on those edges. And then when I do my concealer and everything later, I'll go back in and highlight it again just to make it lighter and lighter. But it's hard to tell how light you want that highlight until you actually get most of your other face makeup done. So we're just going to go in and clean up those edges and make them nice and smooth. And we're going to now go in and do just a little wing, nothing like we would normally do. And I'm just looking for a bit of placement at the moment. So I want to make sure I haven't got too much on my brush. So I go along the edge there just to try and knock off some off the brush. And then I place just a small line where I want to be. And then I can start working on the rest of the wing. I, for some reason, decided to not record all of me putting my liner on. My head was below the camera, so who knows. But here I'm taking a clean brush and I'm really, really blending the highlight and the pink shades to make everything cohesive. And this is where I mentioned before where the cut crease kind of fades away a bit, but that's because we weren't looking for a cut crease. We were looking for just a lighter shade on the lid there. So I'm just tight lining with that same gel eyeliner from e.l.f. And now I'm going to do my primer. So my Manuka Doctor Primer, love this stuff. This is my second bottle. And then going up with my Makeup Forever HD in 118. This, oh, when you're looking for a flawless coverage, this stuff is amazing. However, it does play a little bit with the humidity. Um, it's great when you're in a, a cooler climate and the weather is a bit drier. But when it's humid over here, this stuff just does not stick to my face as well as some of the others. So as much as I love this stuff, if we're going out and it's going to be a hot day, I have to choose something else. But never mind. I get a lot of wear out of it anyway. If I know I'm going to be inside in aircon, then I wear it. So it's all good. So I'm just in there with my beauty blender and mixing it and blending it. And I wish I could normally do this this quick. This would be amazing. How cool does that look? It gives you such a glow. And it looks so natural as well. And now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Everybody and their dog on YouTube has been using this stuff. And I can see why. It is amazing. It's really, really nice. And this is in the colour Fair Neutral. Gosh, that took long enough to focus. So I'm going in with a little bit. I can't do the big swipes like some of the other YouTubers do. I don't know how they end up blending it all out, but you'll see when I blend this out, this, these dots are absolutely plenty. It gives you such a nice highlight under your eyes. And with the Erica Jane look that I've been inspired by, she's got a, quite a fair complexion. So I'm trying to keep everything under my eyes really, really highlighted and keep my complexion not too bronzy or or um, warm I'm trying to keep it nice and fair and neutral so I'm just blending this out on my eye just being careful of my liner there but look how amazing that highlight is I cannot believe it I'm getting into those corners with the beauty blender and that just blends it all out I absolutely love it then obviously going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder you've seen me do it a million times I'm not baking as such, I just place the translucent powder under my eyes and then I kind of just dab it with the beauty blender until it's gone away because the beauty blender's damp. Then I'm going in, like I said, trying to keep everything a fair colour. I'm just going in with that translucent powder um, and setting the rest of my face. Then I'm going in with the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder just to make that really high lit, high lit, highlighted, high, high, brighter under my eyes. So you can see the difference between the two eyes there. Eyebrows, grown. I hate doing my eyebrows. There's got to be an easier way. Anyway, going in with my Ofra Universal Eyebrow Pencil. I believe I got this from a Lust Have It bag. Uh, I can't tell you which, 
much month, but I definitely did get it out of a lust habit. I've been really, really enjoying that uh, particular product. It's definitely been one of my favorites from the lust habit bags. So I'm just running it through my eyebrows. I tend to go up when I'm in the middle of the eyebrows and then drag it out towards the tail. And then I'm combing that pencil through just to give it a nice natural look because I'm not really into the crazy eyebrows. And here we go again. I'm placing that highlighter again on the brow bone just to really, really get that, that real white definition because that's what Erica Jane's doing in her video clip. There's a real, real white um, highlight on that brow bone, a real matte white. So that's what I'm trying to achieve there. Then I'm going in with Benefits Eye Bright on the bottom waterline. It, um, it's quite a light pinky colour, uh, this particular product. And it's really, really nice to give you a really wide awake, sort of doe-eyed effect. I'm going in with my Purple Eye of Horus Eyeliner. And this is actually going to be going underneath my bottom lashes. Not all the way across, about two-thirds of the way across. This is just a little pop of colour that she has on her bottom lashes. I believe it's purple. It's really hard to tell. Um, I've tried my best to mimic some of what she's done in her look. And then I'm going in to a, into the Lovesick Melt Stack into the colour Promiscuous. And it's a really, really pretty purple colour. So I'm setting that purple Eye of Horus eyeliner with the Promiscuous shade. And... Um, getting that nice and right up underneath my lashes so it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to take a brush with um, Tickety Boo on it and just blowing that out a little bit. So I'm doing the same on the other eye, promiscuous shade, setting that eyeliner. There's a concentration on my face. Well, all that's going on in the background. And then I go and stick the brush in my eyeball. That really hurt. So, but anyway, the show must go on. I must keep going. So I'm blowing out that purple with Tickety Boo from that MAC palette. And then I'm putting on some lashes. These are just lashes from Daiso. I get so many of my lashes from Daiso. They are so pretty and so cheap. They're like two bucks. I think that was two bucks for those three sets of eyelashes. And they're really, really comfortable soft eyelashes to wear. Very easy to put on as well. So yeah, put done both eyelashes and now I'm going in with, up the other way Charmaine, the M Princess um, blush in Strawberry Kisses and I'm going to, no, no I'm not doing that at all. I'm going in with NYX Taupe and I'm going to contour with that one. So I'm taking a Kabuki brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm using the edge of that brush to give myself a defined line underneath those cheekbones and then using the top of the brush to kind of blend it out. Then I'm going into my hairline just to um, frame my face with that with that taupe contouring. It's a really really pretty cool colour. I've heard a lot of people using this one and I've not been able to get my hands on it until the NYX shop actually came into Pack Fair um, down the coast here on the Gold Coast. So now I've got it and I like it a lot. So anyway going back in with that blush now as you can see it looks purple in the pot and this is another one from my lust habits actually but it actually comes out as a really really pretty natural pink this is actually one of my favorite blushes and even though it was a tiny little pot it doesn't even look like I've started using it so I've been really really happy with this particular blush now I'm going in with the Jouer Cosmetics highlighter in ice I think it is uh, it's just a mini highlighter. They came out with it a while ago. This is really the first time I've given it a good shot by itself and I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. I was a bit worried because it is white um, that it would be too pale on me. But um, I'm happy that it isn't. It's, it's so pretty. Now I'm going in with my Essence Lip Liner in In The Nude, number 11. Um, what was that? Anyway. Lining my lips, it's a fairly, like it's it's called in the nude. Um, I've got a couple of these. So it's nice soft lip liner. They, are, um, they go on really, really well. It's a really pretty shade. But in this particular instance, I think this one may have gone off. It don't smell pretty anymore. Then I'm going in with my NYX lipstick in ooh, 529 Talia. 
Now you'll see me make a face after I've put this on. Uh, it was melted from being, yeah, that's me winding it back down. And it was melting as I was winding it back down. Anyway, now I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Um, I don't often get to wear lip glosses, but these ones are really nice. This one I think is in the shade Pink Tiara. It may have been a Jaclyn Hill collaboration back in the day when she was happy to collaborate with Gerard Cosmetics. Um, some stuff has gone down. Big long story. I'm sure you can YouTube it if you're really interested, but hey, I'm just in it for the lip gloss. So yeah, it's Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Pink Tiara. I was right. Who would have thought, huh? I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Make sure the fan's not on me at the time and frantically spray my face before the fan comes back. wonder if Mick is copying any of that setting spray. Oh well. And then I've just realised that I forgot to do my bottom lashes. Oh, in I go with the Lash Blast Volume Mascara, as usual. And I'm going to go in a little bit um, more than I normally would, only because... I think the way that um, Erica Jane has done her lashes on the bottom is is a lot harder. But anyway, this is the finished look. So as you can see, it's a really pretty, really easy look to wear. And yeah, I like it. I think it looks really, really pretty. But anyway, bye. Love you all. Peace out.